Welcome to the CamWorks Express webinar, and thank you for joining us. Today, I'll introduce you to the latest in low-cost, state-of-the-art CAD CAM technology, CamWorks Express. CamWorks Express includes powerful features normally found in far more expensive CAM systems at an incredibly low price. Other Express products boast of their low cost or even being free of charge, but they lack the features and power required to machine parts effectively. In contrast, CamWorks Express includes everything you need to program and machine parts efficiently and is by far the most powerful, cost-effective Express product available today. CamWorks Express is a complete two and a half axis milling package and it's smart, easy, and efficient. CamWorks Express is seamlessly integrated inside SolidWorks and uses the latest in feature-based machining technology. CamWorks Express includes automatic feature recognition as well as interactive feature recognition and knowledge-based machining for a variety of holes including holes created using the SolidWorks hole wizard. Direct Model to Toolpath Associativity will update your toolpaths automatically to changes that are made to the part. And full toolpath simulation with material removal is also included. CamWorks Express runs right inside SolidWorks and uses the same user-friendly interface. There are online videos to help you get started. And there's even a CamWorks Express command manager that's easy to learn and easy to use. CamWorks Express is seamlessly integrated inside SolidWorks and it supports industry standards including IGES, STEP, ASIS, and Parasolids. And CamWorks Express can be used to machine solid models from many different CAD systems including ProEngineer, Unigraphics, Solid Edge, and Autodesk Inventor, just to name a few. CamWorks Express uses the latest in feature-based machining technology not chains and profiles like obsolete CAM systems. There's a CamWorks Express feature tree to help you manage your features and you can create over 20 different features and operations. Milling features like pockets, slots, corner slots, and bosses are all supported. Other features like holes, open pockets, curves, and engraving features are also available. You can create milling operations like face milling, rough milling, and finish milling. For holes, CamWorks Express supports center drilling, drilling, peck drilling, tapping, boring, and reaming. And even thread milling is fully supported. Using CamWorks Express automatic feature recognition, holes in the part are instantly recognized and added to the feature tree automatically. Tool paths to machine the holes are generated automatically using knowledge-based machining. And automatic feature recognition even supports holes created using the SolidWorks hole wizard. The knowledge base machining in CamWorks Express will machine holes automatically and you can capture and reuse the best practices of your best programmers and machinists. Operations can be easily stored back into the database, eliminating the repetition of having to program the same features over and over. CamWorks Express lets you store your CAM data directly into the SolidWorks part file, ensuring that the part you're cutting always matches the model and eliminating the need to maintain multiple files. No more translations, no more translation errors, and CamWorks Express also has full model to toolpaths associativity so that if the part changes, your toolpaths will update automatically. The ability to update toolpaths automatically can improve quality and reduce scrap by eliminating costly errors. Unlike most Express products, CamWorks Express comes with full toolpath simulation that includes material removal. You can display your stock, target part, tool, and tool holder. CamWorks Express toolpath simulation includes collision checking, the ability to save your work in process for the next setup, and it even includes model compare so that you can compare your machined part to the part model and make sure that the part you cut is up to date with the latest revision of the model. Full media controls are included and step through toolpath display is also included the single step through your program. It's time for a live demonstration of CamWorks Express and so now 
Let's go manufacture. Let's begin with a part model that represents a part we might want to machine. This part could be a part designed using SolidWorks or an imported part from another CAD system. Either way, CAMWorks Express can be used to machine this part quickly and efficiently. Before we begin machining, notice how CAMWorks Express is seamlessly integrated inside SolidWorks. Once CAMWorks Express is installed, two tabs are added to the SolidWorks Property Manager. CAMWorks Express toolbars are available, and a CAMWorks Express command manager is also installed. We'll begin by selecting the stock manager in order to define the stock we want to use for machining. We can use a bounding box or we can use a SolidWorks sketch to define the stock and specify the thickness for the stock. Once the stock has been defined, we can select the machine and the post-processor that we want to use to generate the G-code. A library of post-processors for common machine and control configurations is available on the CAMWorks Express website. Here I'll use the posting tab to specify the program number that I want for this particular program. I'll begin by pushing this button to run automatic feature recognition and extract all of the hole features from this part. Notice how all of the hole features have been recognized and added to the CAMWorks Express feature tree automatically. Each group of holes has been identified and added to the feature tree and CAMWorks Express has automatically created groups for holes that are the same size. Next I'll create the features to machine all of the pockets in the part. All I need to do is select each of the pockets in the part that I want to machine. By picking each of the pockets, CAMWorks Express will create machinable features that are fully associated to the pockets in the model. As a result, if the model changes, the toolpaths for the pockets will update automatically to ensure that the part I cut matches the current revision of the model. Once I've selected all of the pockets, I can simply select the face of the part as a surface for the top of the pockets. Now that the pockets have been added to the CAMWorks Express feature tree, I can create the rough milling operation to rough machine the pockets. I'll insert a two and a half axis rough milling operation, and then I'll use my shift key to select all of the pocket features in the list. I'll click on the green check mark to begin inserting the operation. From my tool crib, I'll select a 3 8 M mill for rough milling. Once I have the tool I want, I can select Pocket Out as the pattern for machining and specify the first cut amount to be a quarter inch deep. I'll also set the maximum cut amount to a quarter inch and specify a 10 thousandths finish allowance to leave for my finish pass. Next, I'll set the clearance plane to 1 inch and my rapid plane to 0.1 for all my Z moves. On the Feature Options tab, I'll set the entry method to spiral so that the cutter will spiral to depth before starting each roughing pass. Now I can use the CAMWorks Express Preview button to preview the toolpath and make sure it looks good before accepting it. I can review the toolpath and if everything looks good I can select OK to insert the operation. Now that the roughing operation is complete I'll insert a contour milling operation for finishing. I'll select all of the pockets in the list to begin the operation. For the finishing operation, I'll want to create lead-ins and outs to leave a nice finish on the walls of the pocket. I'll select the arc as a lead-in type. Then I'll specify the arc angle and ask for a hundred thousandths overlap so that no witness marks will appear. I'll specify my lead-in amount as .125. Then I'll go to the Contour tab and set the first cut depth to a full depth of the pocket. Now I can preview the operation and see what the finish passes look like. The 
Preview button saves time and allows me to review the toolpaths before accepting them. If everything looks good, I can select OK and the operation will be added to the CamWorks Express operations tree. Now I'll generate all the operations for the holes automatically. And then generate all the toolpaths using knowledge base machining. If I want to change the order of the operations, I can simply drag and drop them into position. For example, I might want a center drill first for all the holes after the machining of the pockets and before the drilling. I can also combine the operations. For example, I can select all the center drill operations and combine them into a single operation. Here's the combined center drilling operation. The ability to drag and drop makes it easy to change the sequence of the operations. Once the operations are in the desired order, I can go ahead and simulate the toolpath using toolpath simulation. I can set the speed for simulation. And later, I can change the speed using the slider. As you can see, the toolpath simulation in CamWorks Express includes material removal and allows me to see exactly what's going to happen on the machine. Once the simulation is complete, I can use the model compare function to check the machined model against the original part. When everything appears in green, it means the machine model exactly matches the design model. Now that I'm confident the part will be machined correctly, I can generate the G-code required to run the machine. I'll select Post Process, specify a name for the G-code file, and begin generating the G-code required to run the machine. The post-processing is now complete and the G-code file is ready to send to the machine. Now that we've programmed the part, let's look at what happens when design changes are made to the model. Using other CAM systems, design changes can be time-consuming. I'll use SolidWorks to change the thickness of these ribs. I'll also change the depth of these pockets. And now I'll rebuild the model. Notice how several of the pockets have been affected by these changes. On other CAM systems, these changes could result in several hours of reprogramming. But that's not the case using CAMWORKS Express. I'll simply select the CAMWORKS tab and instantly CAMWORKS Express knows that changes have been made to the part. CAMWORKS Express prompts me to rebuild the part and because the changes are significant I'll select the button to fully rebuild the CAMWORKS Express features and operations. Amazingly, CamWorks Express updates all of the features, operations, and toolpaths automatically. The program has been updated and now I can simulate the new operations and toolpaths. Using other standalone CAM systems, design changes like these require the user to import the new model and one at a time go and make the required changes to each of the operations and toolpaths individually. Instead, because CamWorks Express is fully integrated inside SolidWorks, the operations and toolpaths can update automatically to design changes. When it comes to design changes, standalone CAM systems don't compare. We've programmed this entire part and incorporated design changes in less than 10 minutes. How long would it take to program this part using your CAM system?
Now that you've seen Camworks Express in action, let's take a look at what you might need to run Camworks Express. Camworks Express supports both the 32-bit and 64-bit versions of Windows 7. Of course, you'll also need SolidWorks or Camworks Solids to run Camworks Express. In addition, Microsoft Access or a runtime version of Microsoft Access is also required. And the free runtime version of Microsoft Access can be downloaded from the Camworks Express website. Camworks Express includes everything you need to create efficient, error-free toolpaths for 2.5 axis milling. And you can create contain and avoid areas to help you control your toolpaths and avoid collisions. Camworks Express will automatically generate entry drill operations for rough and finish milling operations. Camworks Express face milling lets the user specify the number of passes and includes an option to make one pass down the center of the part. Camworks Express rough milling allows the user to machine using various patterns, specify Z depths, and Z direction entry types including plunge, entry drill, ramp, and spiral. Camworks Express finish milling allows the user to specify Z depths and eliminates unnecessary moves. You can create lead ins and outs and specify the Z direction for entry moves. Camworks Express thread milling gives you the ability to climb or conventional mill and create either clockwise or counterclockwise helical cuts. You can thread mill holes using either a top down or bottom up machining strategy and the user can specify the pitch and the major and minor diameters for threads as well as create lead ins and outs. Camworks Express includes CAN cycle support for holes including center drilling with automatic calculation of depth based on the chamfer or countersink diameter. Drilling, peck drilling, high speed and variable peck drilling are all supported. Camworks Express also supports boring, reaming, and tapping. And a library of post-processors is available for the common machine and control combinations on the Camworks Express website. If you're like most shops, you're facing challenges. Challenges in creating error-free, efficient CNC programs and finding an inexpensive but powerful CAM solution. A solution that's easy to learn and easy to use and can help you reduce your programming time. An integrated solution that will update your programs automatically to design changes and will give you an edge over your competition. So what's the solution? Camworks Express. If you want to reduce your programming time by as much as 90%, increase your quality by as much as 80%, reduce scrap by more than 20%, reduce tooling costs by as much as 70%, and reduce your overall lead time by more than 85%. Get Camworks Express today. And now, let's go manufacture. This concludes the Camworks Express webinar. Thank you for attending.